Hi everybody, it's Tina and Diamond. Kind of see me here in the alley. We're doing a chit chat kind of here. I'll move in. There we go. Who's that? While Diamond's doing her thing over there. My finger is going through the cloud. Oh yeah. But I am alive. And you got glitter on your tip of your nose. <laughs> I'm working on Bubba's Halloween costume right now. He wants to be James yeah. from Team Rocket, which is a thing from Pokemon. We all changed our minds here, Bubba and Allie, on what they wanted to be. So Allie's now going as Dorothy, and Bubba yeah. is going as Team Rocket. And yes. I'm pretty proud of this. And so, first, but, I wanted to be Stardust for Halloween. Then Jesse. Then. I wanted to be the queen. Dorothy. Yep. So. But I am alive and kicking. As I said previously, I was really sick. Like, really sick. And I had to go to the hospital twice because of it. I had chronochonditis, which is when your chest muscles overwork themselves and kind of pull apart. And when it pulls out your heart, and it feels like a heart attack. So. I like this. I like the cupcake too. Thank you. Foil. Cupcake foil. Yeah. Jennifer, if you're watching this, where'd you get this fall one? What? Target. But anyways, so now I know what a heart attack feels like. So if I ever have one in the future, I know. Um, but then a manager, another manager at my work had her baby, so I've been pulling all these extra hours, closing a lot. And it's just been very tiring. You know what I want? A vacation. I'm always on vacation. So. No, I need another little recipe box. Okay. Do you know why? Right. Just to hold my neck up Michael's receipts to the fact that they don't expire for almost all the days. Alright. Let's see. So. But that's what I have been up, oh, up to. Plus, I'm also working on my Halloween costume. 180 days. Which is, I'm going as Hades. And my husband's going as a glow stick. I can't wait to see Sam. Well, fine. You know, I'm not going to look cool. I look badass every year. I mean. Sassy mold. I look sweet every year, so. But, what else is new, Mom? I sent out all my packages. Yep, those are in the middle. Those are out. A couple ladies will be surprised. So one person, because she don't know it's coming. She's like, I like surprises. So I don't like surprises. There. When I send them happy mail, they don't know it's coming. Ta da! Shirt's done. And so, I got two entries sent. Or actually, Prize that I did a hidden giveaway prize is sent. Esther Luca's fall family swap is sent, which I have to email no. her and let her know. Yes? You want an envelope? Yes. Well, you need an envelope. First, make the card, then I'll give you the envelope. So, that's sent. And then I joined three uh, challenges, and those are set. Doesn't that look good? I'm really proud of it. Hi, Sam. But it's Check not out my great. bow tie. Put it down. He said, wow. And then the geese. Yeah, it's I have no idea. But in the area, you see how it, when I was, me, after my parents divorced, she, uh, Italian. You ain't stop a die, she'd say. I don't know. But she'd be yelling at us kids. I wish I knew. You were probably swearing. <laughs> so I have to tell you what it is. Yeah, she did. Oh, but she made some good spaghetti. That was a good one. Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. It's not really that hard to mess with spaghetti. Yeah, but when there it's Italian, blue blood, tan, she maybe spoke six English. Where's English? Sit down, eat, shut up. <laughs> and that's like. Her husband was. Yeah, because we lived here, they lived there. 
they were good kids, but to the other neighbors that she'd be out there just a yelling in that language. Well, my ex-boyfriend, he was full-blooded Italian, and his grandma was from Italy itself, you yeah. know? And she was your typical big yeah. Italian woman, you yep. know? And ate them too I met, many meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> I met her, and she looked me up and down, and she was like, you're too skinny, it's not good for bearing sons. And you know, in like that thick Italian accent, and I was like, Whoa, Whoa, Grandma! Slow down. Been with your son or your grandson for like four weeks here. Chill out. And she was like, "I married my husband, knowing him only one week." And I was like, "Yeah, but that was in mm -hmm. old Italy, back in like the '60s, '50s." Probably in the '50s. What? So. Well, I got my granddaughter's married. Uh, betrothed. All one? every every one of my grandchildren are betrothed. Who's that? Like betrothed? Well, I don't like her betrothed, Jack. Well, it's not like we don't like him. Sure, yeah, but she is in a real bad marriage. Um, Cole's betrothed to your godchild, Lily. Yep. And Riley. Cole. Yes, Sam, it's Cole. And Riley's going to be betrothed to who's having baby? Sam. No. Uh -uh. So he's the only boy. Mm. Oh, this is cute. I think maybe swap time. I don't know anybody else having a boy. Everybody else is having a girl, so is Riley going to be a lesbian? There we go. Just reach out to Rachel's daughter. Emma? There we go. Yeah. Or no, Haley. Haley. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lovely sister. Yeah, she's going to be a girl. Put on my hat, buckle up. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Say it out. I don't know. Anything else? Now? Not really. Maybe you're, you're alive, kicking. Still married. Are we? I'm still married. Someday. You stay was when you left for work this morning. Be widowed. Da. Huya. No, he would hurt someone. That would devastate me. Something oh. happened to dad. I love this hair now from the hot glue. I have to go marry you like Donald Trump just for oh! my scrap. Some craft. I don't say that, but pig. Yeah. Yes. What's the newest thing? Oh, I, okay. I caught this banner. little. Is that what it, Michelle Obama was talking about? Yes. Okay. I caught a clip on that. He said fine. that he could grab any woman because. So he thinks not, he can grab any yes. woman's ass because no. he's rich? Other things. Are you. A he said That's that? essentially what he said. Way back in 2005. Oh, but yeah. Because he's not, an arrogant aunt. Yeah. He's arrogant. It's not what he said. It's, it's how he portrayed said. it. Saying that basically because he's Women. rich, he can get away with this. Yeah. Which is why we have Brock Turner's in this world. Why we have what? Brock Turner's in this world. Oh, that he's college? He's a Stanford yeah. swimmer. Yeah. People. I mean, Washington. people there. Not watching. You got people that have money that are these, you know. Look at George Clooney. Mm -hmm. Gives it away. Is this duct tape or washi? Washi. But yeah. Yeah. Well, he's. I got an argument. I think I pissed off one of You don't like any one of them either. Well, I know, but he was like. Because Donald Trump defended himself right. saying that's locker room talk. You know, that's how guys talk. You know, blah, blah. And it's not in the locker room. And but still, it's not. He's not running for coach. Or he's running for president of the United States. Well, there, that could be seen kind of. So um, but um, I had an argument with Uncle Randy. He was like, oh, he was like, you never heard about him making any sexist remarks or racist remarks before he was voting, and now all of a sudden you hear all this. Well, yeah. And difficult. I was like, well, and then I looked it up, and I looked up like. 10 things that he's been called out on and I was like really Uncle Randy and I listed them all and I was and that was it Uncle Randy stopped talking because I called it out and it's not even he's the fact that that. He, look how he talks about Rosie O'Donnell well it's not even the fact of what he said it's the fact that he's running for president and this is his act yep so there now the pants are down sure. why is that one thank you because I think I screwed up yeah well she's a liar Hillary we're all screwed. And he's a arrogant ass, so I'm moving to Canada. But can you imagine I'm moving to Canada? I'd have to take this phone in. I'll just stay in my craft room. 
open the window for air. There. I wouldn't even do that. I'd probably just. Everything's going downhill. This country's been going downhill anyway, so. Yeah. We'd be smuggling craft because they'll raise the tax on luxuries. Yeah, probably. I mean, would you classify craft even luxury? Yes. Is there a black ribbon I'd be so screwed. Can you look for me? Yeah, it's size black ribbon. Can I take me they're in top two. Yo! Please! What do you want? That doesn't come off the wall. Yeah, that's down there in your bed. Find it. Excuse me. You're so. excused. You're part again? I like your little pigtails today, Allie. Go show your hair off. What else do you have in your hair? Oh! Yeah, I've heard it's funky hair day at school. She got pig, horse tails, piggy tails, and then turn. Oh, ah! Just blue! Yeah, blue! Blue, blue hair! I blue dyed it! Oh. No, you didn't dye it. Is it spray? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then she got tails back here. Yep. Yeah. They're both, it's diagonal blue. You better go see the doctor, you got blue zigzags. Well, what? I mean, there might be some sort of condition. No, I mean I painted my hair. You painted your hair? Did you it's paint spray it? Did you it's use spray. a paintbrush? No, it's spray. Oh, hair spray. spray. Hair spray paint. We had to use my spray. That's cool. Yeah. So why was it funky hair day? Crazy hair day. Oh, crazy. Sorry. Crazy hair day. Nana's got crazy Friday going on in the craft room, see? Get Ninja Turtle hat on, breast cancer awareness glasses, and my bow tie. What's this guy do? Mushroom. Mushroom from Mario. So, and my native shirt. I really got it going on today. I don't match. <laughs> I match. But I gotta go get a So, if it's crazy hair day at your school, guess what's in the craft room? Funky day. Funky day. Wait, that's only one day of the um, uh, year. One day of the school year. Well, in the craft room Friday's funky day. Today's Nana's funky Friday and the craft room. But on the Saturday. So getting this bow tie from Jennifer today just worked. <laughs> Why are you, you haven't been wearing your glasses, Alia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. So do we want to say goodbye? We've been on here 13 minutes. Sure. Just whatever. Yeah. So everybody, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. We're going to sign off. Are you coming over to my house tonight? Why am I supposed to be going to your house now? The private companies. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Well, you take pictures over here, so. Yeah. Probably. So what else you do? I thought you were coming over here to finish your Halloween dress. Well, you can come over and play for something, so come over and play for Halloween dress. Or I'll come over and play for Halloween dress and come over and play for something. We can okay. do dinner or something. Okay, we'll figure it out. Alrighty, everybody. It's Friday. Just think. One year from today. 363 days. That is? Yes, because yesterday was October. My son getting. is getting married. Woo. I think he's nuts. He's only 20. I thought you were nuts. Let's just let's see. I will sum this up real quick. Your maturity in his. That's all it comes down to. Boys or men should wait till they're at least. 25 30 to marry. 25. Yeah. Your brother getting married at 20? Heck no. He's only had two girlfriends. Experience life a little bit. Well, if we're going to go there, I've technically only had like two real boyfriends. Yeah. I but dated a lot. Your maturity was a hell of a lot better than he is. So I dated. I am in Southern Spirals. They're both on this. They're both 20 years old. Yeah. So.
that's my little spiel. But I'm the mom of the groom. I will sit back and smile through and grind my get drunk. Yeah, me there. Grind my false teeth down and need a new set. Oh that hurts. Can't even grind my teeth. Look at that. Yeah. The champagne high, huh? I'm in the wedding party, I get free drinks. I better get free drinks. I'm the bride or groom's mom. I better get free drinks too. Let's be a non-alcoholic wedding. Um, ah! He's I'm sneaking in our booze. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to start her. Away. <laughs> I don't want to start her. Away from park. After party. Yeah. Are you laughing? <laughs> no, Nothing. All our flasks will be in our bags full of something. But I know. Is I better be able to bring him. There's nothing here. wrong with a non-alcohol party or wedding. I went to one. Well, no, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. I thought it was weird. Not weird, but different, they chose, because they were both recovering alcohol. Well, that it. makes it So they yeah. decided they were having it. What they saved from buying alcohol, we got steak for food. It was cool. Well, that's why um, they're getting married on Friday, so they can splurge on food. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. We gabbed enough. So I don't really have anything to say. I've just been working. I'm working on Buzz I know, I only watched Riley once and only saw the kids maybe two hours this whole week. Really different. How long that's going to be for a while? Yeah. Them are your brothers. Yeah, I bought you Prince or Pony ones. He got. He got. I'll make you a deal. If your brother gives you a sheet, you can have a sheet of. Yeah, yeah. You have to give him a sheet of yours. Yeah. He can have a sheet. You give him a sheet, maybe he'll give you a sheet, but Thank don't. you. But you need to wait till he gets here. Yeah, but he trades. You guys can Because trade. it's only 143, but he should be here shortly. But this is his. Mom so wants to finish. I know you're good at, you guys are good at Jenna, because he always thinks at Allie. He opened that little envelope yesterday and stuck two of those little fruity bars they hit kids like. Yeah. In his mail. <laughs> it tickled me pink and tickled him pink. He was so happy. Uh, told me last night. So, right away he pulls out the one, he pulls out, oh cool, and then he pulls the other one, this one for my Allie. So, yes, Allie. Yeah, he, Nana felt bad, so Nana sent him fake mail. Ha! I have planned for these feathers already. I need a buckle. Ooh. Kind of buckle. Just, I'm just going to make one out of it. Because he's also got a belt. Yeah. So, I'm making a belt. Well, and there's some metal looking little clenches that look cute. Right. In there. Open the doors. Yep. And probably on the side facing the closet. Okay. And the, one of those little plastic bits. Yeah, plastic bits. So everybody, this is my third time saying this. I keep getting distracted by my lovely family. I hope you like this video. We are, and it's Funky Friday in the craft room, as you can see. And I need to get out more. <laughs> you were out all morning. I know, I was going all morning. I need a craft! Josen! Josen! You spent a lot of money. Huh? You spent a lot of money this morning. I spent $60. A lot but of I it was bills. shipping. Hmm? I paid some bills. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, say, like, hurry up, say goodbye, Diamond. I almost dropped a hundred bucks at Michael's just yeah. on Halloween stuff. I probably would have if Sam was. I kept on telling her no. No. I was buying decorations for my house. I'm like, no, you don't need it. So was my husband. She tried to tell me I didn't need my stuff either, but mine stuff was only 33 cents. Mine was like $12, $15. Yeah. <laughs> that was on sale. It was on sale. Yeah, that's where they get ya. I know. Because then you think you need more than one. No. It's like these. Why well, did I, I, I have a thing. I don't know what it is. When I buy stickers, I buy two of each for two flowers. Why did I need two? So now I have two of them. Why do I need two? Giveaways? I don't know. I don't know. I'm always buying two of things. Two of everything. All the time. Them are not what I was speaking of. Well, what are you talking about? I will find you in a second. Say goodbye. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs>
Tell her it's chit chat. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow. We'll see. See you later. Yeah. You should definitely go. You want to film me and say I'm walking through? Ah! Every yeah. five seconds. A little bit of it. That's a little show everybody. Okay. Alrighty, bye. Bye. It's Funky Friday in the craft room. Okay. Yoo hoo! Oh. Oh, she, oh wants. she wants to shut it off. Bye, guys. Have a good day.